This past November, just three weeks after winning a re-election campaign, Democratic Virginia Representative Donald McEachin passed away, leaving a key congressional seat open. Well, now a special election to fill that seat is underway. And the race is now between State Senator Jennifer McClellan and Pastor Leon Benjamin, who ran against McEachin in the previous election. And here with us now to discuss her historic bid for Congress is State Senator Jennifer McClellan. Thank you so much for being here, State Senator. This is a noteworthy race for a few reasons, and but one that really stands out here is that if elected, you're going to be the first black woman to represent Virginia in Congress in its 400-year history. So can you tell us more about what shattering that glass ceiling means to you? Well, first of all, it blows my mind we're still having firsts in 2023, but uh, I'm very honored that I could be the one to shatter that ceiling in the same district that sent the first black man to Congress from Virginia, John Mercer Langston. So let's talk about your campaign. It was about bringing more perspectives to the table. So what legislation do you think is the most critical to your constituents right now? And what will you focus on if you do win? Well, my constituents are concerned about uh, lowering costs and making sure they have access to health care, uh, good education system. Their voting rights are protected. And uh, I'm going to fight for those issues in Congress. State Senator, it's no secret that this country is divided, but of course, so is Washington. So what is your strategy for working within a closely divided Congress? Well, you know, I spent 14 years in the minority party in the Virginia State Legislature, two years with the Democratic trifecta, and now the past two years in divided government. And yet I've been able to pass over 350 pieces of legislation. So the step is first uh, listening, uh, focusing on solving problems, finding common ground where you can't. And if you uh, can't, then just pushing forward for what's best for your constituents in the country. And this is, of course, a special election. We mentioned that early voting actually started at the end of January. Polls close on February 21st, so this is almost over. What has been the biggest challenge for you? Um, I think the biggest challenge is uh, getting people to come out and vote first in a December firehouse primary and then uh, in February. A lot of people think I already won because the primary got so much attention. Uh, so we are doing everything we can to spread the word about this election. And based on the early vote totals, I think uh, the word is getting out. You know, we were talking about Representative McEachin, and you've said that Representative McEachin was a mentor and a friend to you. You both served together in 2005 at the State House. What work are you hoping to continue and expand upon from his legacy? Well, he was a big champion for addressing uh, climate change and environmental justice. We partnered on a lot of those issues together. Uh, and so I will continue that work. Uh, we also, uh, when we were in the State House and then when he was uh, in Congress, we partnered on everything from expanding access to health care to fighting predatory lenders. Uh, and I'll continue that work as well. All right. Well, State Senator, Virginia State Senator Jennifer McClellan, thank you so much for joining us here on GMA3. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.